Hello and welcome back to this uh, playlist rigid connection calculation as we noticed in the previous video our connection is not counted as fully rigid connection instead it is a semi-rigid connection now it's a question all the time when we are modeling our beams or columns and connections into the uh, appropriate software what kind of connection we need to consider sometimes they are completely fully rigid sometimes they are fully pinned but in this case for example it is not uh, rigid or uh, pinned instead it's semi-rigid for that reason we need to uh, assign the stiffness or rotational stiffness in our calculation for example in one fem analyzes model for this reason it is better to understand how the moment that can be transferred from a semi-rigid connection is determined Assume that we have a beam with the length of L and if we put the load as distributed load here Q and as far as it is under a semi-rigid connection with the stiffness of let's say K or as far as we calculated with S, let's go with S. We want to calculate the bending moment uh, that can be taken by this uh, rotational S spring. We know that this value is QL divided by 2 and we know that we have this moment or M0 at both ends. Now to determine the M0 relation and, and also the uh, deformation of the beam, it's easier to use the uh, elastic equation. So let's have a cut from here. We have QL divided by 2 and we have m0 we have q in the distance of x and we have a cut with shear force at the distance of x and bending moment m at the distance of x if we have shear force at the distance of x and we have moment at the distance of x we take the moment from this point of the cut sigma m s equals 0 so m x plus m0 plus qx squared divided by 2 minus ql over 2 times x equals to 0. As a result, mx will be ql over 2x minus qx2 divided by 2 minus m0. We know that ei theta at x will be integration of mx dx. As a result, it will be QL over 2x2 over 2 minus QX3 over 6 minus M0 times X plus EI theta 0. Theta 0 represents the uh, initial rotation of the beam. According to our calculation, the connection is not rigid. As a result, theta 0 cannot be taken as 0. So EI theta will be ql x2 divided by 4 minus qx3 divided by 6 minus m0 times x plus ei theta 0. As we have a completely symmetrical beam, in the center of this beam theta is 0. So x equals to l divided by 2, theta is 0. As a result, 0 will be QL over 4, L over 2, S square minus Q over 6, L over 2, power by 3 minus M0, L divided by 2 plus EI, theta 0. And I can simplify this, QL3 divided by 16 minus QL3 divided by 48 minus M0, L divided by 2 plus EI, theta 0. And here... This is uh, 3 and then it will be QL3 over 24 will be M0L divided by 2 minus EI theta 0. We know that the relation between M0 and theta 0 is based on the stiffness. So here we can write down that M0 is S theta 0. But as far as the moment is in the opposite direction of the rotation, it is minus. So here I can just substitute this value. It will be QL3 over 24 will be minus S L over 2 theta 0 minus EI theta 0. Then I can rewrite theta 0 times EI plus S L divided by 2 QL3 over 24. I can multiply by 2 
then it will be also minus 2 so theta 0 2 ei plus sl will be ql3 over 12 minus and then i can divide also by l then theta 0 times s plus 2 ei over l equals to minus ql2 divided by 12 and from here theta 0 will be minus ql squared divided by 12 s plus 2 ei over L. Now if I want to have the moment M0 will be minus S times theta 0 will be QL squared times S divided by 12 times S plus 2 EI over L. If I factor S in the denominator side I will have QL squared S divided by 12 S 1 plus 2 EI divided by L and S. So finally we can rewrite m0 to be ql squared divided by 12 times 1 plus 2 ei over s times l. This is the equation of taking moment for a semi-rigid connection. So we have m0 as a function of q as the load, l the length of the beam, uh, e modulus of elasticity, i the moment of inertia, again L length of the beam and S as the rotational stiffness. Now we can open our calculation MATCAD. In the previous video we went through this calculation according to mu equals to 1 and S is calculated as we can see here. Now for our case the length of the beam is 6.668 meters. Moment of inertia equals to, we had it in the previous video, HEA 200. Moment of inertia is 36.92, 10 power by 6, millimeter power by 4. And we have S, we have L and we have E. So we can write down M as a function of S just to understand how it works. M0 as a function of X or S equals to Q times L S squared divided by 12 times 1 plus 2 times E times I divided by S times L. So Q, we do not have Q here. We can assume, for example, let's go with Q 15 kilonewton per meter. Now if we sketch this bending moment equation, assuming that S equals to 0, then 1 kilonewton meter up to 2 times SJ, it's M0, and we can change this to kilonewton meter also here. Here we can see the changes of uh, bending moment when it comes to a stiffness. If we assume that the rigid, fully rigid connection, rigid or fully rigid, will be Q times L S squared divided by 12. So it will be kilonewton meter 55.6. Here we can see that by increasing the stiffness, it's coming to almost 55. Now, if we put a marker here as SJ divided by kilonewton meter, here we can see that uh, it's obvious that something around 48.9, 49 kilonewton meter should be considered for our case so if the load is going to be 15 kilonewton per meter so this is the graph to show that when we have very small as rotational stiffness uh, it's very close to be completely uh, pinned and when the rotational stiffness is increased then the behavior of the connection is changed gradually to be more rigid for now, we can see that it's almost in the halfway or not in the halfway, but uh, it's not fully rigid. We can calculate the taken uh, moment with this equation according to SJ that we calculated earlier in the other video. So let's have this in our calculation sheet coming back to here. Now I can calculate MED will be m0 as sj so it's 48.89 and now i can calculate the rotation that might happen according to this rotational stiffness and bending moment so it will be med divided by sj and here you can change the unit to be in degree so it means that with the connection that we have under 15 kilonewton meter 
we expect to have 0.16 degree rotation. If you remember, when we have been calculating the SJ, we assume that mu is 1. But mu was a function of MED. So let's put these in one area. From here. We don't need this one. These two are constant, so I can put them also here. S is calculated according to the given mu. And here we have Q, MS as a function, MED and theta are the moment and rotation. Now we can bring the equation from Eurocode how to calculate mu. So uh, this is the calculation of mu and it depends on MED. So here is MED calculated for the given SJ and MJRD is 90 kilonewton meter. We calculated earlier. Now I can write the mu as a function of M and MJRD with if clause if MED is less than two thirds of MJRD then this value will be 1. Otherwise, it will be 1.5 times MED divided by MJRD power by psi, which was 2.7. So here we can see that the value of mu is 1 if Q is 15 and then MED according to this SJ will be 48.89 kilonewton meter. And accordingly, theta zero will be 0 0.165 degree. Now, if we come back to our notes, uh, we can bring this graph. This is S in kilonewton meter. And this is uh, M also kilonewton meter. And we know that for now, SJ is 1.710 power by 4 kilonewton meter, if we assume mu is 1. And also we can bring this calculation. It means that if we have this beam under the load of 15 kilonewton per meter, with this end bolt connection, what we would expect is that the bending moment that is transferred to the column will be 49, about 49 kilonewton meter. And for the deformation, the angle of rotation is around 0 0.165 day. Now let's change the value of Q. If we go with 20 kilonewton per meter, then mu is changed to 1.25. Now you need to have iteration to just adjust this value. Let's go with 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.15, 1 1.19, 18. So now it's pretty close. And here you can see that the angle is going to be 0 0.25 and MED is 64 and the stiffness is going to be 1.44 10 power by 4. So the, the stiffness is changed according to this. This is a very sharp change. Uh, it says that if MED is less than two thirds of MJRD, but it should be pretty uh, close to the real case we will go through this later with the ANSYS modeling and we will compare our results let's have these values as well to our calculation sheet so it means that if we have the load 20 kilonewton per meter then the mu will be 1.18 it's not one anymore and now the moment is 64 kilonewton meter 
and the angle of rotation 0 0.254 so in other words if we have this load to be 20 kN per meter then the bending moment that is transferred here is 63.8 kN meter and the rotation of angle will be 0 0.254 degree that's the end of this video we went through the uh, calculation of semi-rigid uh, connection for one simple beam at both ends and uh, mathematically and theoretically we calculated the bending moment then we went through the euro code and adjusted the mu value in the next video i will start to model the same uh, question with ansys uh, software and we will compare the results with the calculation hand calculation that we already have done in these 11 videos thank you for watching see you next time bye